Hey guys, it's Dr. Steve here again, and today I want to discuss post-workout nutrition. I want to talk about what we should consume after we're done working out, when we should do it, and also the time of day that's optimal for our workout to have that shake. So first let's talk about what should be in our shake and, and or what should be in our meal. And if you want to do a whole food, that's fine but I typically do a whey protein isolate instead of a concentrate. Many people have a hard time with a concentrate because of the amount of lactose that is in it. And many people are lactose intolerant. They don't produce lactase, the enzyme necessary to process that. So I start with an isolate that I fit within my macro needs. And then I will add glutamine and leucine and sometimes some acetyl L-carnitine and so <clears throat> glutamine is going to help with the immune system and repair you wouldn't want to use it if you had an inability to process glutamate um, it could be it's excitatory and can cause some inflammation so you need to know genetically if you can process that well if your liver can handle it and then um, you have uh, adding glycine there which is going to help with your growth hormone production and then you have acetyl L-carnitine, which helps with the fat metabolism. If you had a genetic deficiency there to metabolize fats well, that would be a good case to throw that in there. So <clears throat> that's what I would have, and I, I, I don't do carbs after I work out, unless it's later in the day. So that gets me into the timing, right? And we want to cons the best optimal time for us to work out is later in the day. And that would be at around the three o'clock, four o'clock time, so we can go home, we can have carbohydrates to spike our insulin. If we spike our insulin, that's gonna drive nutrients because it increases the GLUT4 receptors, right? It allows us to utilize nutrients better. But if, you're, if that doesn't work in your schedule, you need to work out earlier. Sometimes I have to work out earlier just because of my schedule and seeing patients. So what I will do is I will not have carbs because that's gonna limit my body's ability to burn fat if I have carbohydrates earlier in the day. So I have my protein, right? And then I have my shake, which is going to spike insulin a little bit, but it's not real high. And I have the glycine there to increase my growth hormone or preserve muscle, you know. And then later in the day, that's when I have my have my carbohydrates still. So again, you want if you if you can work out later in the day, have your carbohydrates, you know, and and you can add white rice or potato or whatever carbohydrate you want to it. And then if you can't work out at that time and you need to work out in the morning. Make sure you don't spike your insulin too high and you can mitigate that just by not having um, carbohydrates after in your post-workout shake. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, you can always reach me at uh, protouchrehab.com or message me on Facebook if you have more questions.